Hey there, everybody. So today, <clears throat> oh, hey there, everybody. So today we are going to be learning how to do uh, layer masking in Pixlr, which is a little bit different than layer masking in Photoshop. And so this tutorial might not be where going where you expect it to be going. So hopefully everyone will be able to follow along, especially if you have experience in masking already. Um, I have to apologize. I have a cold, so I'm sounding a little bit mannish. Um, also, um, if I can't, I can't raise my voice much higher than this. Otherwise it kind of cracks. So, uh, hopefully you can bear with me and hopefully you'll still be able to get everything that you need to out of this tutorial. So let's jump into Pixlr. All right. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is going into our Pixlr. So I use Pixlr E. Um, it's a little bit more advanced than Pixlr X. It's also a free web browser based one, so you can use it on any device. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to create new. And as always, you want to create to where you're going to go, where it's going to go. So I am going to probably put it on Instagram. So I'm going to put it on square. So then once I have selected that, you want to give it a name. I know I have got ice in it, so I'm just going to write that and then I push create. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is bring in my picture. So I'm gonna add to my current page and then I'm going to make it bigger. Now I hope that my image is high enough quality to be able to, but just a little bit more and press enter. It's okay, it's not bad, it's all right. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do and what I'm gonna be doing for this picture is I'm going to be taking this out and replacing it with a galaxy. So the first thing I want to do is I actually am going to make it black and white. I think it'll be a little bit more dramatic if it's black and white. So I'm going to just go auto black and white. Yeah, that's good enough for now. We're going to, I'll probably adjust it a little bit later. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my galaxy picture and, uh, the, remember NASA is in the public domain. And so pretty much anything you get from NASA is, um, is copyright free. All right, so now that I have gotten my thing set, I am going to um, be erasing the top layer. Now, I know some of you are like, well, why don't I just erase? Masking is a little bit better than erasing because you can unerase. where in erasing, you'd have to just control Z to get it back. In this one, there's a very easy way of getting back your, I'm going to go to the cut one right here. And then I am going to go to my brush so I can draw my mask and you'll see it highlight red for your mask and then once you click on it it goes away so I can just keep on going by hand to erase it or I can use a selector so here you can do it use a shape mask you can also use a layer mask this way so I can draw it in like this and it'll get rid of it. Now, as I go through this though, I've erased a little too much on the edge here. So in Photoshop, you switch it from black and white. In this one, you actually add to mask, remove from mask. Any hoozle. I think I accidentally hit another button for this. All right, so I'm gonna go to here and now apparently green is where you're adding it on and red is where you're taking it away. My bad. Um, I'm too used to using Photoshop. In Photoshop, what you do is black takes it away white brings it back. In Pixlr, it's just these buttons, which honestly is a little bit more, like makes a little bit more sense if you ask me. But the only problem is, is that in Photoshop, you can actually remove lighter parts of the mask if you turn it to gray. So then it doesn't, you can actually like remove half things. All right. So what you want to do is be very, very careful with this. You don't want to have it <clears throat> Um, have any like over the edges you want to have precision as you're adding this in so I'm gonna go in and I'm going to keep working on this and then I'm gonna show you once it's all done all right so now I have gotten my um, picture kind of set I have cut it out to the best of my abilities so now what I want to do is I don't want to just leave it here I want to give it a little extra panache and so first of all I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go in my brightness and contrast on my top layer and I'm going to make it a little bit more contrasted to kind of give it a little bit more of that defining edge. I'm going to apply that. So now it's kind of a little bit more cartoonized. And the other thing that will really kind of splash up your picture just a little bit 
is if you go in and you can go on this underneath layer because remember if you draw on this layer or even add a layer so that you don't have to worry about drawing on your original is you can actually add um, some shadow to it to make it look like it fits so I'm gonna go to my um, uh, brush here uh, I'm going to set this to like mm, I don't know pretty low opacity and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger okay and now I'm gonna brush in a little bit of shadow and look at how where that shadow was originally how it kind of gives it that look as if it belongs there so just look at how just that little bit of shadow here and then a little bit of shadow right there just some tiny touch-ups oh, there's a shadow here too I think just where it over cuts right on the edge there it'll just kind of give it that extra look as if you like it's the the iceberg is like actually overshadowing the space like in the space is a physical object and so that also kind of cleans up those edges that you might have too that may you maybe not have what you didn't weren't blah, 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 that you weren't able to um, actually like clean up as good that'll kind of do the trick for you so here is kind of my finished product for this style of picture um, we're gonna move on into the next style of layer masking uh, which is creating that black and white how to remove um, color or how to remove color specifically or black and white elements so we're gonna get into that next all right so now we are bringing in this fish picture um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put on a Polaroid uh, thing so I'm gonna do that like Polaroid look that um, so, so it looks like the Polaroids in color but the rest of the images in black and white so I'm gonna add to current um, by the way you can get one of these like Polaroid style templates like all you have to do is like Polaroid template PNG and you can find things already cut out for you so that you can use in this particular situation. I am actually going to make it kind of at an angle, kind of giving it that little look here. And so now I have um, my little fishy and I'm going to make it look like this is in color and everything else is in black and white. So how you can do this um, is what you're going to do. Um, is first you have to make sure that your images are set you've got everything set so that once you're done you don't have to move anything around anymore because if you're working with two layers and you start moving like let's say I'm not happy with where this Polaroid is and then I decide to move it I'm gonna have to re-edit some things so make sure everything is where you want it when you want it the other thing that you want to do is go through and make sure that you're done with the color editing because once you turn it to black and white you might you might not be able to edit it as well so um, I'm gonna go into adjustments I'm going to make it more vibrant so it really pops I really like making that fish pop I'm gonna go into brightness and contrast because I also once it's black and white I want to be able to really like see that background um, that's a little better um, and then I'm going to go into hue and saturation I'm gonna bring up that saturation a little bit more not quite that far I'm gonna also see what happens if I Ooh, I kind of like the lighter looking fishy all right uh, see how it looks no nope, I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna bring that back down to zero all right so oh I pressed X didn't save anything all right so once you're done editing I'm gonna fix that part one more time um, then you're going to start with the next step all right I had to I had to finish editing a little bit so that's why I, I stopped okay so now we're going to go in and what we're gonna do is we're actually going to duplicate this layer so I'm gonna duplicate layer and now because it's the exact same layer and I duplicated it I didn't copy and paste it it is in the exact same place that it was before so uh, now that I've duplicated the layer I'm gonna go to the top one I'm going to go to auto black and white and then I'm gonna go to my cutout here and I can yoop, 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 yoop. And I can start erasing. Now, as you can see, it's um, a little squiggly. <laughs> so you can actually take your shape mask and you can actually kind of create lines like this and kind of trace around the edges. 
I always kind of like to trace around the edges first to kind of get my a good start on it. And this is how you can then make this part in black and white, and then you don't have to worry about undoing. You, all you have to do is, is erase and bring it back, and so on and so forth. Like I said, to add to it, you go to add, to remove, you remove. And so um, in Photoshop, again, this is different. So if you've ever used masking in Photoshop, this is a different experience. With Photoshop, you actually would do a black and white layer added on to it, and then you would erase through that. With this, you kind of have to do a little bit of finagling, but you can do all the same things that you can in Photoshop in Pixlr. You just have to kind of find a different route to your destination. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to keep finishing this up, and then afterwards I'll, I'll kind of close. Alright, so that's the end of today's tutorial. This is what this one looks like. Uh, this is how the other one turned out. So, um, uh, like I said, this is a different project than it would be in Photoshop. It kind of looks different between the two. Um, I would love to, I love to see what you guys are going to make with this. Um, it's exciting to kind of try it out. It's fun to have kind of a different program to kind of play around with, with these particular projects. We get used to using Photoshop so much that, um, it's good to kind of challenge myself to kind of try it out in different softwares. Um, so I hope you like how these turned out. Um, and I hope that you have fun making your own. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.